How's it going? My name's Tyler. This is my backyard. Today we're going to talk about drying lumber. I have a process that's kind of a cheap and effective way, although very labor intensive to dry lumber. Right now I don't have a, a standalone kiln, so what I do is get done saw milling for the day, I stack my lumber, and depending on the thickness of the board, uh, I usually let it dry about an inch a year if it's a hardwood. If it's a softwood, you can really you can go straight from fresh sawn into the kiln, uh, even on a really hot summer's day. I've done that before with a tree that was fell, went and cut it that afternoon, and then put it up in the attic the next day, and no problems with pine. Uh, it may Results may vary on that, but for oak, what I do definitely is let it sit for about a year. You know, you can stretch it a little bit less than that if you need to, but here's a stack here. I stacked this about a year and a half, two years ago. You'll see I've got some full dimension ones, uh, inch and a quarters, and some twos. Just hadn't had time to get up in the kiln because it does take two people, three people sometimes to get wood up. This stack is only a 10 foot stack, so it'll be quite straightforward with the two of us today. So, uh, you know, a lot of people try to cover their stacks with tarps. I've done that before. Got some stacks that aren't covered at all. Um, but this tin really works well to keep all of the, the moisture out from the top which is really the only area that you need to block the rain from just filtering through. Usually if you have it uncovered, the top couple pieces will get um, a little bit punky maybe, but by the time you get down about three or four rows, you don't have any issues with water intrusion. So, but this uh, tin really has been a, a good ticket. I really wanna buy some more of that for my other stacks. But with that, I'm gonna take you, uh, show you kinda where we go from here once it's air dried. So this is the next leg of the journey. We go ahead and pull down the attic ladder. And start shuttling boards up there. And then what I do is I just take the, the stack just like it is and move it up there, you know, stickers, holding on yards. And then once we get it stacked, I'll show you uh, the way we continue to do the drying process from there. Now this kiln drying process will take, uh, it, it just, it, it really depends because it's solely based on the heat outside. Right now it's the summertime. Um, it gets really hot up there, usually around 130 degrees or so, which is a little bit warmer than you would traditionally have a kiln. Um, so you gotta be careful adding uh, hardwoods that are still not completely air dried up into a attic that's really warm. Typically what I like to do is dry my hardwoods over the winter and dry my softwoods over the summer. So that really helps uh, slow the drying process, keeps you from having case hardening and the splitting at the ends of the boards on the hardwood. So with that, we're gonna get this kiln loaded up and uh, we'll come back once we've got it all stacked. So what we got now is I've got it all stacked up here. There's two, four, six, eight, ten rows of, uh, of wood. It's about five feet deep. And like I was saying, it's ten feet long. Um, so now what we do is we get this box fan. I've got two box fans. And then I've got the attic fan that's on a thermostat. So anytime it gets over 100 degrees in here, that fan will kick on and evacuate some of the the heat and then these fans will run um, non-stop until the lumber is dry so you can imagine that is a very long time you can run these on a timer which is what i've been thinking about doing getting a timer to run to where they only run during the hottest part of the day so that's probably something that i'm going to do this time i've done I don't know, probably about 20 loads up here. And you know, it, it never gets more fun putting the wood up here and taking it down. But for right now, it's the most effective way for me to dry lumber without having to build a kiln, which for me really, the, the cost isn't that big of a deal, but the time to build one, I just haven't carved the time out to do that. So with that, I think that's gonna finish this one up. If you've got any questions, be sure to drop them down in the comments and uh, hope y'all have a good one.